The decluttering is done, and now the fun part, organizing all of Lorna's crafts into zones. This is gonna make it so easy for her to find what she needs and to be creative in this amazing space. Well, we are done. It's been the end of a long day, and I'll tell you the room looks better, but we look worse. <laughs> it is an extremely hot day, um, and we are just absolutely dripping. But I always say, Lorna, that decluttering is like Zumba. We really do get a little bit of a workout, would you say? Yeah. I mean, we have been really sweating it up today. This looks fantastic. I'm so excited to be able to come down, make some earrings and some necklaces so that you can come buy them at the Rome Farm Market tomorrow, or some cards or some purses over there where Betsy is. So I have space to do all the things I love to do. I might have some, uh, I have some big tables I could set up now that there's space and I can invite some people in and teach them how to do some of the things that I love doing. It really wasn't hard. You guys made it very easy. It was, um, it was just that I needed somebody to direct me. And you guys were like, how about this? How about that? Where's this go? And just many hands make light work. And you helped me do it. I love the zones. Um, you're a very creative person. I think the way it was before, it was very difficult for you to get around and find things. Now you have three distinct zones. You have your sewing zone and a special place with your sewing machine there. Everything that you need is on that end of the room. You've got a beading area, another great place, a comfortable chair, lighting, everything that you need, all your beads are behind you. And then you even have a third zone with its own table to do all of your paper and anything that you have to do with your paper crafts. You have that beautiful countertop that it's so nice to be able to see it now and we've got the windows open so you really can get some great cross you know air vents here and you have this beautiful lighting so I think this is just such a great room you're going to be so inspired I hope it really helps you um, create more things and we're going to come see you at the Rome Farmers Market <laughs> come see me Rome Farmers Market I'm still going to call it piles of crafts because you know what there are still some piles, piles yeah. here. You They're have, neat, but yes. there are still some you do piles. Have some, so. You do have some homework. You know, a lot of times when we when we do a show, there is homework because we could probably be here another week going through all your beads. I mean, she has thousands of beads. And so at least they're neat and organized. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. <laughs> and you can kind of just take a bit at a time, you know? So, Beth, what was your favorite part today? Oh, I think getting all the stamps together and the hole punch together because they were just Everywhere. all over the place. Yeah, so that's, and, that's yeah. the best. But don't forget the wine zone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we love the wine zone. Got it's him. really yeah. awesome um, so that when you have a friend over or a few friends, crack open a bottle of wine, put on the television. Hopefully you'll be watching Organization Motivation mm -hmm. and you can be inspired and work in here. We will be watching. Excellent. Well, you, you were so fun to work with. Thank you so much for having us. Well, that's our show for today, folks. I'm Deb Cabrell, the Declutter Coach. We hope that we've inspired you to organize an area in your home or office. Until next time, we'll see you on our next episode of Organization Motivation. Bye-bye. <laughs> loves crafting. The problem is her craft room is so disorganized and chaotic that she can't even get to work in there. So we're here today to help ship shape, whoops, sorry. We're help to, <laughs> we're here today to help that craft, <laughs> sorry, don't laugh anymore. I know. We're here today to clean up and get that craft room in tip top shape. Okay, it's a very humid day, and as you know, Deb's hair triples in size anytime we have a humid day. So, wah, wah, hot day, um, and we are just absolutely dripping. But I always say, Lorna, that um, decluttering is like Zumba. Let me try that again. That's our show for today, folks. We hope, I'll do Deb Cabral first, right? Okay. 
That's our folks. <laughs> <laughs> to watch previous episodes, visit organizationmotivation.com.